so hi everyone i'm Arul here so this is my first video on data engineering so i am planning to start the classes on data engineering so before we get into that so what i'm trying to see is like uh, the ways to simplify the data engineering process so when i am searching for such kind of tool i came across such a kind of a wonderful tool called mage.ta this is not a promotional video guys so i just want to say it before that uh, before i am starting this so what i am getting impressed with this is like i don't need to write much of a python script i just need to know where is my source and what will be my target and with that within few minutes i can go with a detail pipeline so a data pipeline is consisting of three parts as usual like uh, if we need to know if we need to do some extract transform and load so for all these three we can create a pipeline so it's like a kind of an orchestrator tool which can simply uh, pulls out the data and then uh, we can transform the data and then we can store the data so this is the website for them so this is what uh, this is what i came across so for starting this like uh, they have a uh, they have a thing in rep github so if i go to that okay just give me a second where is the adjective like of repository just so if i click on start building here right so it will open the github repository of mage ai so here we can see like uh, this is the complete source code repository of mage ai so they have they have they have written the entire code base in python so the thing is like we can install this like uh, this is what they are talking about their product we don't need all these things so we will start with the quick start so here like uh, if we have the python installed already so what we can do is we can install this mage using this pip install command so first we need to issue this pip install mage ai so i i already have this library installed guys so here i don't i don't need to install it once again so if you just give pip install mage ai what happens was like it will it will simply loads all the required libraries right so after that we need to start a new project so how we can start a new project is okay let me just cancel my existing one so if you want to start a new project we need to go with start and then we project okay so if i issue this command what happens was it will create an user interface like this and it will open the made stuff in 6789.4 okay so here i need to create a new pipeline so what i will do is i will just click on new and then my pipeline will be a standard pipeline so i need to give standard okay so this is a pre-generated python code we don't need to worry about this okay i just need to hide the sidebar then click on this data loader python and then i am going to load the data so first of all before going into that i will be explaining you what will be my data so i am going to use their sample data sets so here i can see the sample data sets out of that there is a data set called product purchases okay so i am planning to use this one so i need this raw one so this is a complete data set having some 13000 records okay so before going into that this is what i am planning to do 
today so out of this entire product purchases data set i need to filter one reviews which is greater than and i i will be storing it into my sql data okay so this is the plan guys so for this today we are going to create a data pipe okay so the product purchases is a csv file and on top of that we are going to apply a filter and we are going to put it into a mysql database okay so for that we need to start with the data loader then python and then i need to select api so here i need to name my data loader block so here what i can name is this is a product loader right so this is the extract this extract what of the idea so i'm just saving it so here i can provide the u here it just created an auto generated code so inside that auto generated code it is using pandas so to process and play with data frames we can do and then we are importing the requests and then these things and all are related to this uh, predefined stuff so i don't have to worry about this uh, code guys so actually what happens is it is just using this annotations to use this data loader okay so out of that in this url i need to pass this text. okay so now i need to see like uh, whether my data is getting fetched properly or not i just need to click on the run button okay so here we can see all the products like whatever was there in the csv file right so that one was coming in a formatted way because here we are running the test right so basically because of that see here we are returning it right so this returning is it is just returning the panda pandas data frame okay so out of that data frame we are getting all this informations so in my pipeline my data loader is ready so on top of that i need to apply some filters so that i can filter out the reviews which are greater than 50 okay so here i need to click on this transformer python and then raw actions and then again filter so what i am going to filter is filter and then filter underscore reviews so this is part of transform this is just for our understanding okay. so in this transform also we can see all this like uh, here here we have a decorator function right so this is the annotation we are using so out of this here i can write the action so my action code will be like so this this particular column so this particular column name is reviews so i will be mentioning like reviews greater than 50 okay so in this extract we can see like this is this is returning a 13000 rows on top of that i am applying a filter to get only the reviews which is greater than 50 okay so i'm just trying to execute this right so in this case it is just extracting only the 5675 rows which is fulfilling the condition okay so uh, yeah so whatever reviews are greater than 50 those reviews we are picking up and now we have the data ready in our data frame 
okay so what i am going to do is i am going to store this data into a sql database so for that i am going with the data exporter python as well as then my okay here also i am naming it as like uh, store the data underscore products and this is part of load right extract transform one load. so in this load actually here these configurations are by default okay so where this is taking the sql configuration is from this io config.yaml file okay so this one we will change and before that i need to have the table see here it's a there mentioned specify the name of the table to export the data so here i am naming my table name as product list underscore list or products list okay so this products list i am going to store here whatever we have filtered those data and here i need to configure the yaml okay so here my here is my io configure yaml and this will have all the information whatever we need to give so here let it be like we don't need to disturb anything so we will be just changing this database name my database name will be arul and my sql host will be localhost and i'm just putting my password here okay so then after doing everything we need to save this file content okay just uh, i just need to make sure that i have saved it so i am just closing it then again back to pipeline so this is our data exporter code block so here i am trying to execute it now okay it is showing my sql initialized opening connection and then exporting data to product list okay let me check so this is my sql workbench so here i am just showing show tables okay executing this i have a table name to product list here so i am just querying it okay this is 5675 the same thing we saw here also. right so i just went to see whether the data came in so as usual we use the same okay so basically within few minutes what we what we did was like uh, we used this mage to create this pipeline to extract the data transform the data and load the data okay so i will save this pipeline and then what happens was like here i can simply run this pipeline we can create a trigger also so after running the pipeline if i go inside this i can see my pipeline data pipeline is running yeah so the extract is complete the first step then again transform is getting queued so transform also completed so in this step only <coughs> we were filtering reviews which are greater than 50 count and on this this one anyway this will replace the table whatever we have created okay that's it guys thank you